Talking All about- right, let's get back to the show. Shout out to the Donald Trumpster here. Let's go to the next subject matter. Uh, man's dying ex-wife. I meant to pull up the article related to this, but it says, am I an a-hole? Am I, a, am I the a-hole? It says right here, dad gets overwhelming support for telling his kids he doesn't give a shit if their sick mother dies and doesn't love them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Okay. Okay. I meant to pull the article up. I'm going to have to pull up this whole story. But I'm going to give you the gist of the story based on uh, what people have put here in the in the in the video here. And maybe you can think here that maybe you can think here. What do you think about the man? Is he colder than a Russian winter? Is he colder than the Eastern European Natasha? All right. Here's the story. The father is worried he was being an asshole in this situation. But the internet unanimously decided he was absolutely in the right. Long story short, the father got diagnosed with cancer. His wife left him and took the kids, not even a month after, and filed for divorce, and said she couldn't be his nurse. She turned the kids against him, and he made every effort for years to remain in their lives, and they eventually began uh, began to not answer him. Ten years later, the kid's mom was diagnosed with terminal heart condition, and the children all of a sudden wanted to take the dad to lunch. They asked the dad to help pay for the mom's expenses. That went, that's when the rest of the story comes into play. Keep in mind, the mom is also remarried. All right, so the mom is remarried. So let's take all of these details in here. Hey, he he was on his deathbed. Basically, most men that get divorced, she basically leaves you out to die. I want to let you know that. Most cases, there's some cases where the woman doesn't, and she works remarkably to keep the bond and the children and the family together despite that you're split. Otherwise, most women are very much basically like, hey, you gonna, I'm going to leave you out to die. They will hire the assassins, and they'll, tie, they'll spin up the toy soldiers to basically kill you and kill your name and your legacy. All right, that's what they do. So... So in this case, he he was he was dying of terminal cancer, and she was like, "That ninja dead. I ain't his nurse. I'm gonna take the kids." And she got off the skedaddle. Okay. All right. She skedaddled and took the kids. And what he says was the kids lost communication with the father. And I'm gonna tell you, if the kids choose to do that at a certain age, hey, let them live, live and let live. All right. Don't try to chase them and figure it out for them. But like, hey, it's, it's, it's on you. It ain't on you. It ain't on you, parents. If the kids are old enough, right, they're teenagers, they're going into their 20s and 30s, they're old enough to make a decision, all right? And it is what it is. And that's what it sounded like because the mother had time to toxically pollute the children um, and turn them against them. I don't know why you would turn them against them, a terminally ill dad. But again, most men that get divorced are basically left out there to dry. I mean, left out there to die. And it says right here, um, he made every effort to see the kids for years. He tried to even come in and say, hey, kids, here's that. I survived the terminal cancer. I survived death. I survived the assassins. She left me hanging, but I'm here for you kids. And the kids said, fuck you, daddy. All right, all right. That's basically what they said. All right, now, it was not until they were in a bind. I'm in a bind, Nate. All right, they got in a bind. <laughs> right? They got in a bind, and then what had happened was, what had happened was it sounds like the mom had a heart condition and the children all of a sudden want to meet up with dad. All right. And they was like, hey, daddy. Where is it at? Get him, daddy. Hey, dad. Let's come out to lunch. Hey, can you help dear old mom? They went with the sob story. Oh, daddy. Our mama is dying father. And uh, men are Pat Wallets, man. They treat men like shit out here, don't they? Father. Perhaps you're successful now. Can you feed us in our hunger? Can you help mama with her fees? Because she broke. (laughs) And then they asked the dad to help for the fees. And he was like, man, fuck that bitch. (laughs) I don't owe her shit. (laughs) That's what he said. Wow. Wow. Now, a lot of people go say that dad was cold, but they literally agreed. Most people was like, well, 
It is what it is. Did you y'all chose y'all path? I don't give a <laughs> fuck what you think, bitch. <laughs> Cut that bitch off. Next call. Now, most people will say the dad was cold. Do I agree with the dad on that one? Ninja, if it was even in reverse, I would agree. If it's the dad that did hell and that ninja started dying, it is what it is. You know what I mean, ninja? Let God deal with it. That guy would deal with it. And he thought he was being an asshole. And the kids was probably shaming him. The family was shaming him. And he was like, I don't owe her shit. Mm. <laughs> All right, hold on for a second. Let me see here if I can find the video here. Let me see if I can find the song. I might have to play this song. Uh, let's see here if I can play the song. It's going to come up. Yeah, he basically said this. Where's that? Thank you. It won't fall. Where you from, nigga? Everything y'all did. What it is? It been done. Been done my true game, my shoe game. What? What? You can't touch this shit. Hey. He said, how about fuck me? Hold up, hold up. No, fuck that bitch. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. He said, how about fuck me? Hold up, hold up. No, nah, fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Bitch said, how about fuck me? Hold up, hold up. Now fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he said man fdb that he was like i ain't got no time <laughs> i ain't got no time and i agree with him on that one man and the kids can go suck on it the kids can go suck on it at that point man and look he got unanimous support he got unanimous support and i want you guys to understand something see the shaming the guilt tripping and all of that Ain't going to work on dudes today. Ain't going to work on dudes. He he knew in his heart to FDB that. <laughs> mm. All right. That's the anthem that you're right there. He was like, hey, man, and look, he got mad support. He got mad support for the. He said, I don't give a shit. He said, I don't give a shit if that sick mom dies. <laughs> All right. He's like, here, he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He says, let me give y'all the deets, all right? It says right there, okay, they have the details right there. Hey, you want to be a baby mama terrorist, Ninja? You better think long and hard if you're going to need that man in the future. Children, children, you adult children, you better think long and hard because most of the time your dad might be in a better situation. You might, you might need your daddy. And women are saying he was well within his rights. This is a woman. He was well within his, within his rights. The man got diagnosed with cancer. At a young age, his kid's mom left him, took everything, including the kids, basically F you to him. And now, years later, the kids want to reach out for support and help with their mom's medical bills because she's sick now. He said, he said, hell to the no. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. No, man. Hey, man, people better think long and hard of how you treat people. Uh, men are coming out here cold. And I want you to know, man, you got my support. You got my support. You got the world's support. For not being treated like shit out here, especially by your baby mothers and and your kids. And your kids. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, man. Y'all didn't just be taking all kind of hell. And then you're like, well, I guess. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. I'm, I'm telling you guys. You guys think I'm cold? You will realize that y'all be out here ready to take, take all kind of stupid shit from a lot of people, man. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Don't let people be out here disrespecting you. All right. Give her as the under. Have a long memory. Undertaker bell for her. Remember, last meal. <laughs> last meal. Y'all some pansy ass ninjas. If you, dis if you disagree, you a Mitch ass ninja. <laughs>